from a racing driver's perspective, you know, more power is, is only, only ever really a good thing. The world of motorsports is a battleground, not just for drivers dwelling on track, but also for the teams and manufacturers caught in a race to introduce new technology innovations. Championships like Formula E has become a testbed for all sorts of new technology for the automotive industry. New developments are optimised by race teams and might eventually find their way onto the car you drive to work every day. Of course, there's a bit of difference between the electric cars you see on the road and those you see racing for victory in Formula E. Mahindra's Formula E car, the M7 Electro, is built for performance rather than for durability, so you won't see the Formula E powertrain in your daily drive. But for what you will see in the development of ideas seen in Formula E first, starting with what the team has learned in producing the highly efficient powertrain. A Formula E race lasts 45 minutes plus one additional lap, and the spec battery has 52 kilowatt hour of energy available to it. So the car must spread the available energy out over the full race whilst going as fast as possible. In a road car, you also have a maximum battery capacity and manufacturers must develop their cars to deliver the maximum range possible from the energy available to minimize the number of times you have to stop and charge up. A common criticism against EV adoption. A lot of that comes from the work that Mahindra and its partners do to ensure its powertrain is as efficient as possible in the Formula E arena. The big advantage of having a, an efficient powertrain on track, first of all, is just that you, you will have more energy to use to go in a straight line and accelerate. We're talking about small, small differences in reality. You know, all electric motors are efficient by na their very nature, but with the ZF powertrain that we've got, it seems that we do have a small advantage over some of our competitors. And in the, in the world of Formula E, where we're, we're talking about such small margins all the time, it makes a real difference. Working with industry leaders like ZF, Mahindra has the expertise on board to put together a powertrain that not only delivers the required efficiency to make it to the end of the race, but also to make it competitive against the other manufacturers in the series. Much of that also comes from the software development too, and the knowledge that engineers gain writing software to improve the efficiency of the car can also be applied to road cars. The energy management and efficiency can also be improved by the components used. The gearbox that Mahindra is developing with ZF to further extend the car's range, for example, will also provide vital information that can be used to develop and optimize EV road car transmissions. By minimizing the energy losses at the wheels while creating a durable unit at the same time, this ensures that a road car is able to go even longer on one charge. The high performance environment of Formula E also provides other significant product development opportunities. Working with Mahindra and ZF on developing e-fluids and e-greases for its Formula E transmission, Shell can explore the properties needed for a high-performance electric vehicle gearbox and formulate new products for them. The properties include the need for further drive efficiency, performance and thermal management. Formula E now is the, the motorsport series that's the most relevant to road cars looking into the, the short-term future because yeah, manufacturers um, are able to develop their own powertrains um, and, and use that, that technology that we learn, um, like with ZF, to, to go back into the products that you see out on the road cars of today and in the future. Mahindra is already integrating several innovations between its other EV producing companies. For example, the development of components that work between high and low voltage systems. The race to road path of Mahindra's Formula E's development also extends to the fields such as materials design. There, research is not solely finding materials that deliver greater thermal management, efficiency or other desirable mechanical properties, but also more sustainable materials too. Sustainability is key and Mahindra's work with ZF and Shell puts that mantra at the forefront of the technology projects. But how will Formula E and Mahindra continue to develop road relevant electric vehicle technology into the future? Formula E is due to get a new set of rules for the 2023 season and with them, more powerful cars. Known as Gen 3, the plan is to bring in fast charging pit stops, which make electric vehicles even more appealing to the consumer as those systems are developed. The Gen 3 cars will be faster, lighter, smaller and have more power, giving manufacturers like Mahindra more areas in which they develop their powertrain components. The prospect of uh, Gen 3 is, is really exciting, actually. Um, there, there are a few things that I believe are, are going to be happening. Um, I think we should have 350 kilowatts of, of power, which from a racing driver's perspective, you know, more power is, is only, only ever really a good thing. Another thing is to have a front axle motor uh, will be a big step for us in, in our race efficiency, because at the moment, the, the front axle only has mechanical brakes. 
And so when we use the brake pedal to get that little bit of extra deceleration in the race, um, that's just being lost into to heat in the brake discs. And so when we can regen, um, I think up to about 600 kilowatts, whereas at the moment it's only 250 kilowatts of regen, um, that will be that will be a substantial improvement on, on overall race efficiency. Yeah, I mean the the cars potentially are going to be lighter as well, which uh, as a racing driver, if you have a lighter car, it's pretty much the same as having more power. Lastly, probably the prospect of of fast charging during the race that adds another element that we we haven't got at the moment in Gen Two. Yeah, I think it's a, a really really exciting prospect and one I'm looking forward to. All these additions will provide many more opportunities for manufacturers to further explore efficiency especially with two components regenerating energy as the car speeds increase. With electric vehicles becoming more popular, the lesson on offer from testing new ideas informally will continue to grow. And for Mahindra, the challenge of operating a faster car will mean that there are a new set of conditions to base their development around and more opportunities to collaborate with new technical partners to help them continue to challenge for success on track. But what else will the future bring? Induction charging strips, even more powerful cars and improved battery technology are all further areas that can be expanded on as the EV market grows. And for Mahindra, the best place to explore incoming ideas is out on the track.